says that we are halfway there. Halfway there. Oh, oh we've been on a prayer. We're halfway there. <laughs>
How bad? Higher and higher and see more of the ocean. It says that we are halfway there. Halfway there. Oh, oh, we've been on a prayer. We're halfway there. <laughs> this is quite a workout. Oh, yeah, forget the spare master. You don't need that. You just need the lighthouse. Yeah. I'll manage it. Yeah. See, it doesn't matter that you don't have your treadmill when you're on the road. Yeah. See, you get one view. It alternates between ocean side and land side. That is getting more and more beautiful every time we get higher. Look at this. This is like a landing, like right before you get this out to the top. This is where it was initially. This is amazing. Are you happy? Yeah. 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 Are you happy? Yeah. Did you survive the lighthouse? I did. Here you can see the path that it took. It was way over there. They've made part of it into a parking lot. But you can see that the path from way over there all the way to down here is the path that it had to take when it was moved. Because it used to be right over there on the shore. And due to the erosion of the shore, they had to move it. without falling and without complaining. Yeah, that's a miracle right there. Hey. <laughs> From a shipwreck. Oh, really? This was formerly a keeper's house. Imagine when these were working fireplaces. I know. Morning bird walk. Bird is the best. Yeah, watch your head on that. Oh, I love that. Watch like that. This here is the angle that I did when I did a wood burning of this particular lighthouse. Uh, and I'll show you that if I can get access to it because I gave it to my dad a long time ago. <laughs> This was so fun and not expensive. So it was very, very cool to get to do this. Yeah. Now, it may not mean as much to everybody else if you didn't grow up here. But it's good to finally see it. Yeah, if you're not a North Carolina native, you know, it might not mean as much to you, but this is super cool. Just looking back at being a kid and studying this place in your history books and you get to come look at it, which I think is, one cool thing about traveling in general, you can look at things you hear about and go, oh, I've seen that. Hey, when you come here, make sure you bring some bottled water. Uh, I would say make sure you're in good enough shape to make that climb, for one. I did good. I did good. 
well, there's little rest points along the way that you can stand aside and they've got the windows open so you can get a little bit of a breeze blowing through. Uh, it's not too hot in there, at least it's not right now, uh, but it, I guess it can get hot in there. And for those of y'all that don't know about North Carolina summer, it's hot. Um, yeah, our hot. thermostat says 87 degrees already and it is not even 10 a.m. It's just after 10 a.m. So if you're coming during the summer, and you probably will, um, I would say come early. Make this the first Very thing. Very early. First thing you do before the heat gets to you. Um, there's a wonderful little museum and gift shop. It's real cute. Um, but this is a couple hour trip. It's so worth it. Uh, like I said, especially if it's part of your history like it is us. I grew up here and I've never come to the Outer Banks. It's a bit of a drive, but it's worth it. The things that our families, I don't know about yours, we typically did Myrtle Beach. Um, and I'm discovering as I go that that these to real super touristy places are not where you want to be every time. You know, you want to go to, to some of the out of the way stuff and this is one of them. But I think this the Outer Banks is really being discovered. Right. We've really discovered a lot of things. Now we are headed north. It's going to be uh, quite a drive. Uh, we're going to be headed up to Nags Head.